the opportunity to talk to um, Karen Hess. She is a well-known author and author of the book Out of the Dust. Um, I had some questions for her and she answered them for me. Karen, if you don't mind, uh, tell our viewers a little bit about yourself. My name is Karen Hess. I was born in Baltimore, Maryland in 1952. Growing up, I really loved writing poetry. Um, I really love playing with the kids in my neighborhood, and I especially love playing with my big brother, Mark. I, on, on days that I was alone, I liked to curl up with a good book and read, and sometimes I would actually climb a tree and read. It wasn't until after I got married and went to college that I realized that I could be a children's book author. That I have... Um, what is your favorite memory of writing Out of the Dust? Uh, my favorite memory was, uh, I went to this consignment store and I came across this old rag doll. He was probably about nine inches tall and he was just so peculiar looking. Uh, his, his clothes were made out of feed bags and some kind of straps. So I decided to buy him and I, I brought him home and put him on top of my computer and he watched me write Out of the Dust. And another question, have you been to Oklahoma since writing Out of the Dust? Yes, I have visited Oklahoma since writing Out of the Dust. The, the experience was just so, so wonderful. I talked to the people, and they were just, they're just so nice and treated me so graciously. They drove me around their beautiful state where I saw oil pumps working in the fields and vast stretches of grasslands and it was just beautiful. How do you get ideas for your books? I read magazines, newspapers, nonfiction. I listen to interviews. I watch documentaries and I go to museums. I like to watch plays. And all of these experiences uh, stimulate my curiosity and help me to see a world from different points of views. Uh, sometimes an idea catches hold and won't let go. Those ideas become books. When did you know that you wanted to become a writer? I knew I wanted to become a writer when I was in elementary school. I began publishing my poetry in high school. I fell in love with contemporary children's literature when I read Of Nightingales That Weep by Katherine Peterson in 1978. If this is children's literature, I thought, I want to do it. It took me 13 years from that aha moment until the day I held my first published book in my hands called Wish on a Unicorn. All right, Karen, I just wanted to say thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to talk to me. Um, I really enjoyed reading your book, Out of the Dust, and I recommend it to anybody. Thank you so much.